Generally, if I get a referral, let's say I have a referral and I get a referral to the husband, right? Rather than saying straight away, scheduling an appointment with them and going to see them, I'll ask them, oh, you're married? Yeah, I'm married. And I'll just ask them right then. In your household, do you make the purchase decisions alone or typically do you and your wife make decisions jointly? If they say, mm, in my household, we pretty much make decisions jointly, then I'm not going to see them alone. Because if I go to see them, okay, now I'm going to sit down with them, I'm gonna fact find them, I'm gonna relay the value proposition, then even if they're like, this is great, now I expect them to go home and relay that same thing to their spouse, good luck. I'm not putting my livelihood in that person's hands. Why? Because my business is not as important to anyone else as it is to me, right? So I wanna be in control of that. Now, I say that and that's an ideal thing. Could there be instances where the wife or the husband just is out of town or crazy busy at work and you're like, geez, I just cannot sit down with both of them. Sure, I guess, and if that's the case and you can only get one of them, I would not say we'll never see them. But, you know, to the best of your ability, you wanna try to sit down with both of them. That's a way to eliminate that objection by simply asking that up front. Because the other thing is, even if they are effective enough in going home relaying the value proposition and them coming back to you, you're going to repeat yourself. You're gonna say all the same things you just said to the husband or the wife alone, right? So in my opinion, it's a, it's a waste of, of time. Like I always say to you guys, I wanna get to know as fast as I can. I don't wanna spend four or five meetings in six months to get to know. I wanna get to know in 20 minutes. Because if I get to know in 20 minutes, that means I get to a yes in 21 minutes, right? Yeah.